guys. Hope you're all well. I've got three tools here I'm going to test out today. First up, the bill hook. Two hits. Took a sapling down. That's what I think this is really going to excel out. Excel out. It's too cold to speak. Just before we get into that, though, i got to clean up camp. My cordwood piles have fallen over. I have two 8 by 2 piles down here. So essentially, a rip face. Cut a little more than that, but that's about it for this year. Hey, guys. How you been? First real snow of the year. I thought I'd get out and test these three very different grubbing tools or um, brushing tools. Call them what you want. This is a bill hook. A biped bill hook made in England. Ben sent me this lovely thing. I made this handle for it custom out of some Osage orange. I think I'll just do a whole quick build video on this. But if not, thank you, Ben. I got the tried and true machete. This one's made in Brazil. And then this weird thing. I'm told this is called a Sandvik. I couldn't even begin to tell you um, why this was designed the way it was. It's very interesting to me, though. Got kind of a replaceable blade, though I do imagine you can sharpen that. And it's got a handle that you can actually use two hands on. I'm guessing this is going to be good for larger, uh, like, saplings that you got to brush out. This is made in Sweden. I believe Husqvarna made this one. All right, so let's go chopping. All right, so I would normally make kindling like this with a knife, but let's see how the bill hook works. No problem with that. The hook, of course, is a bit of a problem. You want to hang that over the edge. These, pretty much anything would split with that little weight behind it. It goes right through and really pops before that hook even hits. So obviously this is not a big test for it. Works for that. I could definitely see the benefit of having one of these around the farm. Surprised, uh, especially one with and without the hook. The hook is advantageous when you need to brush out some like spring or summer weeds, green stuff, but uh, it gets in the way a little for kindling, but it works. Definitely good for kindling. I like it for that. All right, this is pretty much the kind of stuff that I have to brush out when I'm cutting down a tree or even clearing an area if you had to do it with hand tools. I got three of them here. I'm gonna use the bill hook first, see how it works. One hit, no problem. You got this guy. I'm told this is called the Sandvik. I do like it because you can get two hands on it. And the blade, I guess, is meant to be replaceable. Though I suspect you could keep filing this or sharpening this for quite a while. Uh-oh, that didn't quite sever it. And finally... What I would normally use. See, that's the problem with the machete sometimes, just not enough weight behind the head for these saplings. This is an elm. This is about the biggest I reckon you would want to use something like this on. 
honestly, by this point, I'd rather have an ax, but I think this will do it. Just like you were on chopping with an ax. Saplings are my arch nemesis. This is probably gonna fall on you guys. Hopefully go a little to the left. Just to the left of you. Works. The other thing we can try here is limbing with these tools. Of course, I think the machete and the sandvik are gonna have a little more advantage on this because I don't have to bend over so much, but if the tree was a little bigger off the ground for small limbs, oh, that's about the size you'd want to get into with that, but all the small stuff works good. Cuts real clean. Yeah, I definitely want to uh, thin this out a little bit here. See if I can take right here. I'll try one hit from this side, one hit from this side. No, that ain't gonna work. But that will. Still asking a little bit too much of it. Or a little too much of me. Could be that. Could be the user. That's the one problem with that. I could see that happening. I've had that happen twice to me now. Here, the issue is I can't get low enough to the ground. So something like the machete might be best for that. You guys decide. So this is where something like the Sandvik might excel. You had to get this out of your way because of the two hands. You get a lot more power and control. But right here with these kind of dry weeds, this is the kind of job I think the machete is gonna excel at just because it's so thin and wispy. So there you go, no time I got a trail through there with the machete. And what I really like with the machete with that kind of weed is I can hold it down here in the palm and just let it sweep back and forth. The bill hook is much heavier and shorter, of course, but it will do the work, no doubt. Come to some saplings, no problem. And you're on your way. I did notice with the bill hook, because of the weight, I might want to thin this out a little bit more just to create a small little swell here to keep it in my hand. But at the same time, I want to be able to hold it down here as well. Different positions on this guy. But so far, and that's with gloves on. I think without gloves, it would feel a little bit better in the hand. But I might slim it out just a more. We'll see. Just a bit more. The other thing I could sort of see you using something like this for is a kind of a pick a -roon, just to help you pick up logs. Throw that in there. Definitely helps. Especially in the summer when you got spiders and snakes under logs, you might not want to stick your hand down under there. You stick it with that. I could just see leaving one of these out by the wood pile. It would be nice to just have one out there. All right, so what do I think about these tools? I'm gonna let this burn down and then probably have some porridge. Oh, smoke shift. Well, you guys already know I like the machete. I wouldn't go out in the woods without it in the summer or even late spring. It does have its drawbacks, of course. The advantage is it has the length and it has the thin geometry, so for papery weeds or green wet weeds you can really get the head speed up and slice right through it it lacks weight behind the edge and meat so splitting with this is possible especially with straight grain stuff it will split no problem um, but splitting anything naughty just isn't going to happen 
And trying to get close to the ground is difficult with this because you more or less have to try to hit with the tip because if you try to hit down here in the center of the blade where you want to, the tip ends up hitting the ground. So that's the disadvantage of that. There are others, but I like the machete. I wouldn't be without it. You want one of these. All right, next up is the bill hook. I gotta admit, I had actually never seen one of these before until Ben and Simon started to talk about them. And as I said, Ben gave me this one. Again, thank you, Ben. But when I originally saw it, it was just such a strange tool. I wasn't sure what to make of it. I didn't weigh this, I should have, but this has a lot of heft behind it. And because of that, it makes it a great little like kindling splitter, pud splitter. I'll stop before eighth grade me comes out. Packing the pud. And also this is because of the weight behind it, a nice little um, sapling cutter. It'll also cut weeds, but I think those are the things I would use this for to cut down saplings and even larger saplings. And then this would just be nice to have by the wood pile, as I said, to do all sorts of things with it. Last up is the Scanvic. Interesting shape. I just happened across this on eBay and I was like, I gotta try that out. I've actually been, it's been sitting in the basement for probably three months. I finally got it out here. This is not extremely sharp, not at all. I mean, you could cut yourself if you're not careful but they're basically just cutting with a thin geometry. This does come with a little plastic sheath, which is nice. Basically just a cover that clips on there. That's plenty for me. I have one for the machete, but I'm gonna have to make one for the bill hook. I imagine that's gonna be some kind of leather that with a snap right here. I'll look online and see what other people have done, but no problem. I know I can make one for this. And until then, I'll just use what our forefathers used, which was caution. I think I will go ahead and take a stone and just apex that edge. So I'm happy to report this steel is soft enough to file. Sometimes the Swedish stuff, not so much. Just so that it slides through weeds a bit better. I do like this for um, larger saplings. That would be about the only thing I would want to use this for when brushing out. It's just not wide enough for brush, underbrush, or jaggers. I mean, it would work, but... I'd rather use the machete for that, to be honest. I am curious of using the um, bill hook for some spring vegetation, but that'll have to wait. So again, thank you, Ben, for this beautiful, beautiful bill hook. And I think I'm gonna go take a walk.